some excitement for you. Well, get rolling for the time of your life. It's the best kind of fun, rolling for everyone. So put a lot of fun in your life. I'm telling you, put a lot of fun in your life. Let's get rolling now. Put a lot of fun in your life. Let's go pulling out. The best kind of fun. Fun, family, and friends. That's what the Mendez BPAA National Family Tournament is all about. More than 600 contestants and guests were at the 1994 tournament at Beaverview Lanes in Dayton, Ohio. The event kicked off with a special appearance from three top pro bowlers. Columbia 300 pro staff member Tish Johnson and Ebonite pro staff members Michelle Mullen and Leanne Boomer Barrett. The trio conducted a special clinic for 21 Big Brothers Big Sisters teams from across the country, sharing their expertise and offering encouragement to the national finalists. The results were a striking success. You want something to do with some excitement for you? Well, get rolling for the time of your life. It's the best kind of fun, rolling for everyone. So put a lot of fun in your life. The Bigs and Littles took to the lane for the Bigs and Littles Challenge, an event that's about much more than competition. I think I've met just a really great bunch of people. Um, they're, I just thought I'd give a little bit of time kind of back to our community as far as for volunteering, and it turns out it's been big rewards for me as far as I've met a lot of nice people, and the nicest one being Audra. The energy is high as the National Family Tournament finalists take to the lanes for their first day of competition. Off the lanes, the pros were a big hit as hundreds of youth and adult fans lined up for autograph photos. The fun was just beginning. A trip to an amusement park was followed by an exciting and very entertaining celebrity exhibition match featuring Big Brother's Big Sisters president and former NFL superstar Lynn Swan, along with Leanne, Tish, and Michelle. Several NFT contestants got the thrill of a lifetime when they joined this famous foursome for a few games of fun. But then the friendly competition turned serious. This is good. I'm in the shotgun. Okay. All right, here we go. Well, that's okay for you to do. This is called Ginger Equity Quick. Okay. When I say hike, you hike, okay? Okay. Blue, 12, 12 pin. 12 pin. 12 pin. Two wide. 10 in the middle, 13, 24, 18. <laughs> okay, 145. Tight, 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 tight. He's scrambling, kill us. He sees the target. He gets on his knees. But Boomer battled back with a shot of her own. Yes! 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 
With that shot, Lynn and Michelle jumped into a controversial lead. The battle continued as these top athletes used their considerable skills in this hotly contested match. But even with all that talent, it took a little help from a friendly scorekeeper to make the difference. Now, how their score goes like that? You said, hold it, you said, you said, you said, if I got that strike, we get 60 points. I did 60 points. Yes, you did. No, you did. No, actually, I got the strike. Just want to say that while the score up there might indicate that one team perhaps could have had more pins knocked down than the other. Ben, today was not a day for necessarily one winner or one championship team. Everybody here is a winner. Our pros are winners because they're sharing their valuable time with us today and all of the young kids. All the parents are winners because they're dedicating time to their young people and their family. And I think that's what this afternoon is about. So there's no champion except for the whole team. The first national champions to be crowned at the 1994 event were the winners of the Bigs and Littles Challenge. Big brother Paul Williams and his little Wesley Brown defeated big brother Lou Hardy and his little Brian Frame in the finals. Both teams represented big brothers and big sisters of the Alleghenies. The NFT field was narrowed down to the top eight teams in all four divisions. But even before the first place teams were decided, every team had already been a winner with each youth NFT bowler guaranteed a minimum $500 scholarship. Pro bowler Michelle Mullen knows about the importance of scholarships. She earned a collegiate bowling scholarship at the University of Illinois, where she won the National Collegiate Championship. I particularly like this event, too, because in bowling, it's one of the few sports where the different generations within the families, I mean, a kid can bowl with his or her mom or dad and his or her grandpa all at the same time. There's not many sports like that. And when you do pursue bowling, be it recreational or competitive, you can do it for your whole life. While we all enjoy bowling together, um, the kids get scholarships, which encourages them to go to school to not only bowl collegiately, but to also pursue getting a degree, and that's real important. I know that I got a degree from um, Illinois, and those are some of the best years, not only bowling, but also because now I have a degree to fall back on for when I'm done bowling, and um, that I wouldn't trade for the world. The top teams in each division earned a $1,200 scholarship and a national championship. But what a great combination to put together the youth and the adults and create this event, the National Family Tournament, the adult team event, the big brothers and their littles combination, $79,800 in scholarship money will be presented tonight. That's what it's all about. That's what's bowling about, the relationship, the friends. We're happy to bring you here. The Bowling Proprietors Association of America is committed to you, our people in our local centers, local communities, you as young people, your development, and your relationship with adults. It's important to us. Thanks for being here. You don't know today what you're going to become tomorrow. But in order to be the very best at what you want to be, whatever that is, you've got to have a whole collection of experiences try different things, work at them, so that when you decide what you want to do, you have all these great experiences, this knowledge and training that you bring to bear on your job, whatever it is. Whether, whether it's creative, whether it's sitting down crunching numbers, whether it's being a leader of men and women, you need a great deal of experiences. Big brothers and big sisters of America, we hope we are part of that experience and providing an opportunity for the people in our program to see all the variety that there is in our country, all the things that we can do and can become. And with that kind of foundation, we can achieve and do anything we want to do. I never thought, when I was a child, that I'd be able to do the things I'm doing today in broadcasting, working with Big Brothers and Big Sisters of America, and the other things I'm involved in. But because of having the opportunity to do so many things at a young age, and being able to decide and pick and choose and find the things that I truly enjoy and then work at them, I was able, able to have a certain amount of success. All of us in this room can have that. All of you young people in this room can have that. And we hope that you will sincerely take advantage of all the opportunities that are out there. Even if you start out and you're not very good, keep working at it. You saw how, how I was bowling. When I first bowled, the, the only score I got was like 40. And my only goal is just to get a little bit better than 40. 
And, you know, and eventually it happens. You know, I couldn't catch a pass. Just run the route, concentrate, and catch one at a time. And that's it. And you continue, and you take one step at a time, and you progress. We want you to do that. We think the opportunities are there, and we will work very hard to make those things happen for you. So I'd like to thank all the people who are involved here, the Bowling Proprietors of America, all the volunteers, the sponsors who participated. We thank you deeply and sincerely for all of your efforts, all of your hard work, and for making this possible for all of us to participate. Thank you very much. I was so moved today. I was watching some of the, especially some of the little kids bowling today, and just seeing the looks on their faces. Um, I saw one little girl, I think it was her first strike she had ever gotten. And I mean, just seeing the excitement and enthusiasm, um, it was just, it was a really, really neat experience. And like they said, Burger King, this is our first year of sponsorship. Um, we started in February. Um, Burger King and Bowling, it's a great partnership. Um, we attract a lot of kids. We have a kids club, um, which has a lot of activities for the kids. Also, our restaurants are very much focused towards kids and family. So it's just a really logical partnership. I bowled a lot of junior adult tournaments, but never to this extent um, did I have the opportunity. And I just hope that you all realize the importance of what you've accomplished by just coming here. Every one of you is going to take home a scholarship, and that's very good. No matter how well you did, you should just realize that coming here with your families and with your friends and making new friends is probably one of the best experiences you'll have in your whole life. And uh, I was glad to be a part of it, and thank you for spending time with us while we're here. We, we enjoyed it as much as you did, hopefully. Thanks. Now comes a nice note for me, and that's to introduce our title sponsor. You know, it takes vision and leadership to look at an event when it's really in its infancy and say, that's something we'd like to be involved with. But the marriage between Mendez and BPAA for the family tournament goes a lot deeper than that. This company is relatively young in the bowling business, and yet in a short period of time they've risen to the number three position in manufacturing of equipment, scoring equipment, etc., for use in bowling centers. They are visionary, they are creative, they are a family company, and they love family bowling and the image it brings to their company as it grows and we grow. We had the pleasure last year of introducing him for the first time, a very distinguished gentleman, and when you look in the dictionary and see creative, visionary, steadfast, a great planner, that describes the president of Mendez, our title sponsor, Mr. Hank Totsky. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. I just hope I could live up to some ki that kind of an introduction. Uh, thank you again. Uh, it's indeed a pleasure to stand in front of all of you. Uh, it's wonderful from last year to this year. Uh, the room seems to have grown by at least a third, and that makes us feel very, very good. We want to say to all of you just one thing. We were pleased to be able to provide this activity for everyone to participate in. And with the BPAA and the Big Brothers, Big Sisters, and everybody in the room, I want you to just know one thing. You came here champions, you are champions, and you're going to leave here champions. Just remember that. Thank you. The 1994 Mendez BPAA National Family Tournament Champions in the adult teen division, Tracy and Jerry Parker of Wisconsin, parent teen division, Patrick and Terry Robb of Maryland, adult youth division, Scott Osborne and Katie Bartlett of Southern California, parent youth division, Cornell and Eddie House of Colorado, Bigs and Littles Challenge, Paul Williams and Wesley Brown of Maryland. <laughs> Something to do with some excitement for you. Well, get rolling for the time of your life. It's the best kind of fun. Bowling for everyone. So put a lot of fun in your life. I'm telling you. Put a lot of fun in your life. Let's get rolling now. Put a lot of fun in your life. Let's go bowling now. It's the best kind of fun. Bowling for everyone. So put a lot of fun in your life. You want something to do? Some excitement for you. 